showing you how to use our density charts to find the optimum media type setting for your printer driver. Now the media type setting can be called paper type setting in some drivers but I think it's usually called media type setting in most drivers now. It's the one that has a list of paper types. Now they're normally optimized for the paper of the made by the manufacturer of your printer. So if you're using an Epson printer, you'll find that you'll get all the Epson paper types in this list. Things like Epson Premium, Glossy, Semi-Gloss, Luster. Now, what these settings do, they actually determine how much ink is going to be put down on the paper. They also tweak the colour balance a little bit as well. Um, but they are optimised for the manufacturer's paper because obviously they want you to buy lots of their paper. They don't want you going off and buying third party papers. Now, when it comes to custom printer profiling, uh, you've got a little bit of an issue, really, because you need to find the best setting. Now, this can be a little bit tricky, um, so we do say this stage is optional. It's a little bit technical. Um, but So if you don't want to do this, you can skip on, choose the setting that you think is best for your paper. The only issue would be that if the setting isn't right and the charts are too dark, um, we'll find out when we actually create the profile and we'll have to come back to you and just say, look, we need the settings changed to a different setting. Can you redo the, the charts for us? Um, now, to actually find the optimal uh, optimum setting, what you need to do is download our density charts and then print them out. You're going to be printing them out exactly how you would be printing out the profiling charts. So that means uh, having no color management set up in your software and your printer driver. Now I'll just go through how you actually go about doing that. So first thing would be bring up our website, go to the downloads page, and you'll see there's density charts there. So you just click on the downloads. Very quick download. Click on here, and you've got a folder there, and we've got two files in there. We've got a um, two different types of density charts. One's optimized for Epson printers, which is uh, designed for 360 um, PPI. The other is for any other printers, which is 300 PPI. Um, it's all to do with the way, you know, the native resolution of the printer, which looks best you know, when it's printed out. Um, so if you've got an Epson printer, stick to the Epson ones. If not, stick to the 300 PPI ones. Now, you also need the Adobe Color Printer Utility, which um, you should have seen in one of our other videos on how to download. Um, if you don't know, just go to how to order, go to Adobe Printer Utility, and there's a link there for you to click on. That'll take you off to the Adobe website so you can download the utility there. Um, now, if we go back to our downloads, I'll open up the ACPU DMG. Got that there. Now, if I load that up, it's now going to ask us to load a chart up. So, we're going to go to the density charts, and because I've got an Epson printer, I'm going to choose the Epson one. And that's what it looks like. Um, it's designed to be fairly small, uh, it prints out at 5 inches by 1.67 inches for the Epson uh, chart. Um, it has to be kept at that size uh, because what you're using it for is to see if there's any ink bleeding, any any problems with ink density. If there's like things like the little cross hatches in this pattern around this area. Um, if you see that they're not well defined, that's usually a sign that you've got too much ink on the paper. Um, if they're all sort of if there's sort of the blacks bleeding into the white in the cross hatches. Or if you can't actually make out the this pattern around here, um, some printers do find it difficult to uh, differentiate the first couple, maybe even the first three patches. But really, you should be trying to get as much definition as possible in there, while still retaining saturation. Now, these will show you the saturation levels. Um, you need to keep those pretty high. Um, if you if you don't, if you sort of go to a setting which cuts out too much ink, then you're not going to get the full performance of your printer. 
yeah, no fun, when you use the profile because it's not me you know, measuring the full sort of saturation output. Um, so you've got to strike a balance, but really you should be looking for a very minimal but noticeable difference between the patches around here. These sections as well are useful to look at. Um, you might get a little bit of mottling uh, where the, the ink's not drying on the paper properly because there's just too much ink. Uh, so look at those areas as well. Um, now, I've got your profile code. That's uh, where you can write your profile code number on the chart. Um, that's not so important for you yourselves if you're just doing this at home and you're looking at the charts but if you want to send the charts into us so we can have a look at them uh, then write your profile code on there you'd also need to write down your media type uh, what media type you printed these charts with um, just so you can differentiate between each one so then you can find out which is going to be the best setting now, I'm not going to go into too much detail about how you actually print the charts here because we've got another video which uh, talks about printing the profiling charts with the Adobe Color Printing Utility. Um, now, so I'll, what I'll do, I'll just skip through this, this stage as quick as I can. You just need to go to the print. For here, I've got an Epson printer. Let's move that into the center. First thing, look at colour matching. We've got that all greyed out, so that's fine. Paper handling, uh, scale to fit paper size has to be unticked. Like I say, you want these charts printed at their sort of native size. You do not want to expand them to fill the page. Print settings. Now here's media type. Now some other drivers uh, might have a different uh, name for it. As I said earlier on, you sometimes set get paper type put there. I think with Canon printers they do say media type as well but it's under different tab setting, it's under quality and media. So there you got the media type there. So if we go back to my Epson, go back to print settings. Now I'm going to try this out on a, a glossy paper. Uh, now it, you've got a number of different glossy settings there. You've got ultra glossy, you've got premium glossy, you've got Epson glossy. You've also got semi gloss. Now, we've found that, particularly with third party papers, some people find that using any of the glossy settings put too much ink down on the paper and the chart becomes too dark. Um, nine times out of ten, using the semi gloss setting will work. Uh, that will just reduce ink set and their density just that little bit. Uh, which makes the chart fully readable. You no, know, we don't have any sort of ink quality problems on there. So if you are having problems with the the density, um, try the semi gloss setting. Likewise, if you're using a semi gloss paper and that's uh, proving to be too dark, uh, go into the matte settings. So with the density charts, we would recommend that you print. Uh, a number of the charts out uh, using different settings. You obviously don't have to use every single setting on here, but choose ones that sound like they could be okay. So with the glossy ones, I would probably choose all four of those, the ultra glossy, premium glossy, semi gloss and glossy. We'll start off with, um, well, start off with premium glossy. Uh, set to advanced so we can set the print quality. I'll put it to photo RPM. Turn off high speed. Now, if we get to color management, that's saying off, so that's fine. Because we're using the Adobe Color Printer utility, um, the color management is turned off within your software. Um, if you're using other software to print these charts, um, make sure your color management is turned off. Um, this setting here now shows that we've got the color management turned off in the printer driver as well. Now that should be all, but there's only one other thing with the extension settings. You need to make sure that any sort of automatic color enhancement sort of tweaks or anything like that, like in here we've got the fixed red eye. You've got to make sure that's all turned off so there's nothing that's going to be altering the colors. And with that, you just print the chart. Once the chart is printed, you'll need to repeat the process for uh, a number of different media types until you've got a good selection for you to compare. Now, if you go back to our website, 
you'll see that there's actually a page on here which is under but take you back to the front page you go to how to order and go to density charts there this inf information is repeated in our guides on our downloads page as well so we really do recommend that you pin, um, download those and just follow those instructions um, but this will just show you what you need to look out for uh, basically the grayscale patches uh, making sure we got some kind of definition and the cross hatches which were up at this area up here making sure that they're nicely defined uh, we haven't got this sort of the gaps and the bleeding through the black ink and also to make sure that we've not got any mottling issues um, in the most saturated colors now once you've got the, uh, the best setting then you're ready to go ahead with actually printing the profiling charts you just need to use that same setting when you print the profiling charts and when you actually use the finished profile for when you're just printing photos. Um, if you've got any issues with the density charts, if you can't make up your mind, it, it, it just it do, doesn't make a lot of sense to you, then please just uh, put them in an envelope and send them off to us. Uh, make sure you've got the profile code written on them along with the media type on each chart so we can actually come back and say which uh, media type is best for you. Um, we'll certainly have a look at those um, no, there's no charge for that, just send them off to us and we'll, we'll do that for you. Um, I think that just about covers it. Okay, thank you for listening.